Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for BTV at Ad Tech San Francisco. Where I had the chance to talk to Chris Anderson, author of The Long Tail and editor at Wired Magazine, and get his take exclusively for BTV on why he thinks tablets will start to transform media. Here's what he has to say. So Chris, you've been talking about your belief in the tablet and how it represents the future of media. Why are you so keen on this device? I'm, I'm keen on it for, for two reasons. It's a really satisfying experience. It's an engaging, immersive media. It's a very personal, tactile thing. So as a, as a reader, as a consumer, I, want, I, I, I finally want to read and spend a lot of time reading. And as a producer, the economics of this distribution platform, um, it's got all the efficiencies of digital, but the attention, you know, uh, engagement metrics of print suggest that we can make money here. Okay, so elaborate on that a little bit. What are you seeing so far and why do you believe that it's such a money maker when it comes to advertising? Well, you know, the web offers very efficient distribution, but it has not achieved the same engagement as print. People don't spend as much time on websites. They don't, apparently they don't value it. And this, you know, the amount you can charge for advertising on the web versus print suggests that's the case. Um, the idea of a digital format, which you can spend an hour with, that you will just, be a you know a monotasking, not multitasking experience. Whether you really, where you really focus in and and you know love, that suggests that you can make an advertising medium that has similar premium aspects. You know, it's not that the ads are on the margins or the ads are obscuring content. That you flip by ads, and if those ads engage you, engage your finger then you'll spend time with it, not because you're forced to, but because you want to. Now talk to me a little bit about analytics, because in your talk here you referenced that, and you said this has the potential to really be even more measurable than the yeah. web. Why? Explain that. Well, in one very simple way, which is that it works offline and, all, uh, and on. So the web is measurable when you're online, but when you're not, no one's tracking those clicks. Um, the tablet, by being essentially a portable device, is going to be offline and on. It's going to be there in elevators, on airplanes, and things like that. The, because the, uh, the content is, lives within a reader, and that reader has intelligence, it can measure what your finger is doing, how long you're lingering, regardless of the internet connection, and then package that data up and send it back when you have a connection. So will we all have them? I mean, how, how widespread in use will this be? I think there's going to be a lot of experimentation in analytics. I think there's going to be experimentation with different analytic platforms and different metrics. What exactly is meaningful? I think that we're going to experiment with how much should the consumer know about this. I mean, obviously we have a responsibility to be open and transparent, but is this a dial that they're allowed to set? Is there an incentive for setting the dial higher? Um, how, much trans, you know, how, much, how much do you tell them about what's being measured? If it's all anonymous, do you have the same obligation to be transparent about exactly what's being measured? Or does anonymity allow you great license in what to measure? What about critics who have said it's clunky, it's kind of hard to position, you can't multitask, those sorts of criticisms? I think the marketplace will speak. I'm, I'm less interested in criticism than I am in sales. All right. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you. Okay.